Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 25. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the British Lightweights Championship. We're going to be driving this Elise 111R. And we are going to be taking part here at British Lightweights. We're starting off in Madrid, moving to the circuit of Rome, and then to Matterhorn. So let's go. Our performance point rating needs to be 550 or less. And I think our car's like very low. Um, so hopefully the Elise that we've got is powerful enough. Um, it costs about 50,000 credits. We're going against a rocket, which I know that's a very fast car, so that could be a problem. Um, so far though, they all look, uh, very good cars. They all look like very good cars, so hopefully we've got a chance. Right, let's do this. Lotus Elise around the circuit of Madrid. Hopefully the, uh, car won't be too slow. We've got Voxels. Is that a... That can't be a Porsche. That must be a Lotus. Here we go. Nice. We're going to go with Chase Cam for this one as well. Because this car's not too quick. Um, so that way... We can enjoy the car. Awesome. What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa. Okay. I nearly crashed. Lovely. Perfect. That is very good through that section there. Perfect. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Come on. Nice. There we go. Very good. 1 minute 43.6 for our first lap. Come on, round the corner. Awesome. Whoa. Little bit of a slip going on through there. Whoa. There we go. Awesome. Right, we've just got the rocket to deal with now, which is the fast car that I was always worried about. We got onto the brakes. Perfect. I was kind of disappointed that we haven't gotten into even, like, supercar territory yet so international a is going to be interesting then because it's going to be like a massive jump for us right let's see if we can catch up with the rocket i think the only chance we're going to get to actually overtake the rocket is in corners
Because the AI are pretty crap at taking corners in this game. He says as he nearly spins out. We are ahead though. We are in the lead. We are in the lead. Right, the rocket is catching up. Oh, the rocket made contact with the back of my car. That's a first. AI cars are actually crashing into player cars. Very good. Very good, very nice. Awesome. Right, very good, very good. Come on, towards the roundabout. It's the last little bit of this race. Come on, come on, round the corner. Round the corner you go. Nice. And now we slow down here. Perfect. Oh, the rocket is right behind us. But we just came first. Only just, but we did it. 0 0.5 second gap between the two of us. That is good. That is a very good gap. We get ourselves our 27,000 credits. Three stars. And moving on to the next race. Hopefully the next few races are going to be longer than that, because that's very short. And that means we'll have to mix episodes. Um, next one is the Circuit of Rome. This is another fun track. And we have... Yeah, so the typical is the Lotus 111R. So we got some good cars in the making for this. Circuit of Roma. Here we go, starting grid. We are looking at an Elise Sport. We're looking at, oh shit. They're all Lotuses except for the last one. And there's like seven Elises, wow. Right, here we go, Circuit of Rome, Lotus Elise. It's your time to shine. Awesome. Oh, lost a lot of grip through there. Perfect. Come on, squeeze on the inside, on the inside. Woo, that was close. Nice. Whoa. Not good, not good. Let's try to not crash into any more walls, please. One minute thirty for that lap time. Very good time. All right, squeeze past this Lotus. Woo! That was very good. Coming around this corner onto the long straight now. It's 
still in third position, so hopefully we can regain those last two positions some point in the next lap. Late break in. Oh, that corner couldn't have gone better if I tried. Definitely was not the fastest we could have gone, but uh, it doesn't matter. Awesome. Come on. That Elise is in the same colour as us. I do like this colour though, the uh, metallic blue. It suits the Lotus Elise very well. The uh, metallic baby blue. It is a good colour. I have better brakes than you. I have, um, after the uh, last recording session where I did the uh, dirt trial and the go karts, there's an Elise coming to my left. Stay back. Um, after doing the go-karts and the dirt trial, I went back to try and do that final race of the go-karting. And I played that race maybe 20 times and I still couldn't get better than second. Um, so I can't get that third star. Um, it is very difficult. So hopefully... Oh. I have to watch out for this guy. Hopefully, we can get that final star um, on the car in so we can get the car. Um, I will give it a couple more attempts as well. I'm not just going to leave it there. Here we go. Lotus. 27,000 credits. Nice. And three stars. Moving on to the next race. Which I think is Matterhorn. Yes, it is. Matterhorn. Awesome. Uh, 28,000 credits available. Um, it looks very good. One thing I want to try. Because the front end of the car doesn't have a lot of weight. So I want to put like a... Can I put a small amount of ballast? That does absolutely nothing. Yeah, that does nothing, like, worthwhile, so no point putting one of those in. Uh, let's just go, then. I was sort of expecting the front end to sort of, like, even out a bit, but it didn't work. There we go. Ah, so we're going against a rocket again, and about four other releases. Interesting choice of cars again. Right, here we are. Matterhorn in... I'm guessing the Alps. I think it's the Alps, just a different part. Like, it must be. Because this looks very similar to uh, Egan Orwan. So, hopefully Matterhorn is sort of the similar track. I mean, we've driven it, but like... I would like Matterhorn to look cool. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Right, get past the Europa there. Awesome. We got a long way to go up this hill. Right, let's get past the VX220. Do you know, I've never actually seen a VX220 in real life in the UK, and obviously Vauxhall is... I mean, I don't know if it's in other countries, 
But I know Vauxhall is very British, so... I wonder. Whoa! Perfect. Come on, come on, round the corner. And up the hill we go. I have a feeling we're not going to catch up with the rocket. I mean, look how far ahead that is. Right, we have enough ch chances. Come on. Right, let's get past this Elise. Nice. Definitely was not cheating there. Right, we have one more lap to catch up with this rocket and look at it go. Come on, come on. Keep it under control. Thank you. Awesome. No way have we just overtaken the rocket like that. That is awesome. Jesus, that was close. Drive, drive. There we go. Perfect. Coming up to the finish line now. Ahead of the rocket too. Come on, come on. Ta-da. Beat that. 0 0.8 seconds, but I'll say that was about one. Because we threw away some time there to do that drift. To finish in style. And 28,000 credits as well. 85,000 in total, so hopefully... We should have enough money for everything now. Right, so today we are doing the Classic Car Championship. We're going to be taking this Dodge Challenger RT uh, because we needed a car from 1979 or earlier and I didn't want to buy another one, so we're going for this one. Uh, we have three races to do, uh, Circuit of Rome, Nürburgring and the Grand Valley Speedway. Uh, what are our typical cars looking like? So we got Miuras, 507s and a 365 GTB. Interesting. Right, let's head to Rome then. Classic supercar festival, race numero uno. Right, we've got a Miura, a 365. Uh, we got a Corvette C2 and a Lancia Stratos. Interesting. Right, let's do this. Right, let's change the camera angle so we got a good camera view. Squeezing past the Stratos there. Right, let's overtake the Corvette. Is that a Jaguar E-Type? Nice. Good choice of vehicles from the AI here.
We haven't driven this Corvette since the uh, last series, I don't think. Look at the speed it goes at. I'm pretty impressed by this car. Here we go. Right, slow down. Shift into second through here. Awesome. We have two more cars up ahead. And two more laps to overtake them in. Perfect. What am I doing? I managed to uh, change control schemes. I forgot I was playing uh, Gran Turismo 6 or not Gran Turismo Sport for a minute. Here we go. Awesome. Oh, right into the back of the Ferrari. Sorry. Here we go, come on. That is a Lamborghini Miura. Its top speed is 160 miles an hour. This thing can do 190. To be fair though, the last gear is very long for this car. That braking zone couldn't have gone better if we tried. Nice. Nice. Not nice. I got a mirror on my tail. It looks. Oh god. I don't even know what it looks like. It looks like a cat almost. The tires are very hot right now. Perfect. Lamborghini's catching up. Come on, keep the distance, keep the distance. Perfect, finish. One minute, 21.7. That is very good there. A very good time from the Dodge. 19,000 credits, nice. Right, let's exit and move on to the second race, which is going to be the Nürburgring. Which is a very interesting track to choose. But we will go ahead with it anyways. And then next is going to be um, Valley Speedway or something. I think. Grand Valley Speedway. The Nürburgring. We're on the GP circuit for this one. GT40. Uh, Dino, Kuntash, Miura. The Lamborghinis are at home here, apparently. Right, here we are, Nürburgring with the Dodge Challenger with a black screen. I wonder what it is that causes that black screen. It's obviously something to do with the program. The way that Gran Turismo 6 initially from like... Obviously, this is day one release, um, Gran Turismo. There are no updates whatsoever on this. This is coming straight from the disc. Um, so, obviously, I'm guessing that would have been patched out in a later patch. 
I think I actually need to install the update to finish the game to the level that I want to. Um, because obviously there is the kart championship uh, and the Red Bull championships that I want to do. Um, and I, So far they haven't popped up. So I want to see if getting later on, finishing the Super Series, it will pop up. If it doesn't, I will probably have to update the game. So we'll leave that until the final one anyways because that would have been the final mission I would have done. Of course, I've watched the Red Bull mission. It is epic. The uh, Red Bull X 2014 in this game is OP. Awesome. Right, we have four more cars to overtake. That is the Kuntash up ahead. This is a beautifully stunning car. Come on, come on. Ah! It did just about work. I probably could have shifted down and made my life a little bit easier there. Awesome. I still need to go back to that go-kart race and get that final start. I can't get it. I genuinely hope it's not like it's so impossible I will never get it because I really want to see what car is hidden behind uh, International B for all stars. For some reason, I keep swapping to tap in X to go down a gear. And it's like, it's just a habit I've gotten into because I was playing Gran Turismo Sport yesterday for around about six hours non-stop. I managed to complete the entire of the driving school of GT Sport uh, and half of the mission races, um, all gold as well. So I was proper grinding it out and it was fun. It was really enjoyable. And... Obviously, I'm doing it to sort of get used to, like, different game mechanics because uh, when Grand Turismo 7 comes out, it's going to be a completely different experience. Um, but it is safe to say that I really... Like, I enjoy Grand Turismo Sport a lot more than Grand Turismo 6 at the moment. And that's saying stuff because Grand Turismo 6 was fucking awesome compared to... Um, Grand Turismo 5. And I am starting to panic now, because we haven't caught up with the other cars yet. How do I overtake you then? Fuck it. Uh, I got the Miura, but I couldn't get the GT40. Well, we came second. Um, obviously, off camera, I'll come back to this race. I'll. This should be easy to finish. It's that go kart one that I'm worried that I will never finish. I really want to finish it. I want to get that super awesome like design. Here we go. Two stars. Let's see, the final race, which is Grand Valley, I think. Grand Valley Speedway, which is a very fun track. Yeah, Grand Valley Speedway. Let's do this. 19,000 credits up for grabs. Of 
Grand Valley Speedway. And we are going against uh, two Ferraris up in first. Good thing we don't have the uh, GT40 then, because that would be a nightmare to beat. Right, we're going around Grand Valley Speedway now. And one thing I am worried about is a lot of these corners are S-bends and hairpin turns. So I have a feeling we're not going to get the full advantage of the fact that our car has a higher top speed. Um, and the car's acceleration isn't great either. Um, and its cornering speed is very low. Um, obviously, the acceleration can overtake cars on straights for a little bit. But, like, my cornering speed is slow. Though, it's obviously quicker than the cars at the back of the pack, but they've got, like, reduced AIs. The AIs at the back are sort of simple, easy to beat. ones up in front these three that we need to worry about let's go right we got round but then again the cars in front are all Ferrari so Ferrari back in the day wasn't the strongest of supercars Obviously, nowadays, they're sort of the strongest Ferraris. Um, but back in the day, they weren't very strong or very powerful. Um, especially compared to the Lamborghini Miura. That was like... Oh, shit, that was overpowered. Come on, come on, come on. Right, we've come up to the first of the Ferraris at the front. Oh, I'm sorry, but I need the win. Perfect, right. Now we just have one car to deal with. And we have one lap to do it in. Perfect. This car did better than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be like overpowered by like GT40s, which it did on the last race. But for this one, it's doing very well. Perfect. Perfect. Getting through those S-Bends very nicely there. We do have the uh, other Ferrari is catching up. Right on my inside there. Perfect. Come on. 
Come on, keep that distance. There we go, across the line. First place, 2 minutes 15.8. 4.32 total. Awesome. And I will take my paycheck, thank you. 19,000. Awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.